My wish was always not only going to Russia, but to China. I'm Nick, the successful farmer. I was born in Siberia. We had a nice house. I went to school there. I graduated from grammar school. Stalin took everything away from us. And my father went twice to Moscow to get permission to leave for Canada. The man in charge he said, the doors are closed. We're not letting out anybody. So instead of west, we went east towards the Chinese border. A day before we went, they went to the market, bought horses, sleds. We lived at the Jewish ladies. And she said, I know where you're going. God be with you. And God protected us. We escaped into China the 17th day of December, 1928. Just before we started to cross the river, Border Patrol came on horseback with a machine gun on his back. But we had our sleds camouflaged with buckets hanging on there, like moving to German villages. So he passed us, we finally disappeared. We turned around and went across the river. China took us, accepted us, which I'm very thankful and proud of the Chinese people. We had a brother there in China in the hospital, and that had to be paid for. So I worked. I never went to school. As a 15-year-old, answering telephone in the Russian language. He was five years older than me, but we were not only brothers, we were good friends. We said goodbye with the hope that he would come to the United States too, but that never happened. We landed in San Francisco. That was the 13th of September. A free country. A free country now. San Francisco was beautiful to us. They took us to Angel Islands for night. We got a very good dinner. And the next day they examined us. And then we could leave. People here in Reedley, they knew about us because my father lived here already for a few months and they accepted us with open arms. The pastor, he had a fig farm and we picked up dried figs. I wanted to make as much as possible. It was all peace work, picking oranges, five cents a box. Well, finally I got married. 1930, she stayed at our house a couple nights. She was pretty, and I fell in love with her. This is a farm. I rented it first in 1943. In 1945, I bought it, and I lived on there for 34 years. I wanted to go to Harbin, China, where we live. People were good to us, and I wanted to go to the Amur River that I crossed on ice, and I saw it. I had a family. I was able to buy a farm, pay for it, and then sell it. Free country. That's, that's what it is, free country. In Russia, you can't do that. I accomplished everything. What's the 
secret of longevity. Wild women? Oh, no smoking cubes. What's the secret? <laughs> I've got lots of secrets. <laughs> and you know what the secret is to live long? Just keep on breathing. Ah. <laughs> Come on, let us Just keep on breathing. <laughs>